How you guys doing today? Hope you're kicking some butt. Um, so today we're going to be going over skilling in space. Now, in order to skill in space, you're going to want to have, a, for the, at least the repair part, an RK0 or an RK25. And if you're qualified on the RK25, these are actually an excellent tool. You do actually have to be um, level 25 as a vehicle repair engineer. And you're going to want to have some welding wire. There's many booths here, of course, at, um, I think it's Celestial Quarry. It's here on Arcadia. You can also find welding wire in uh, the auction house and stuff, along with repair tools often. And so, right off the bat, you're going to need somebody that will either get you into space, or you're going to be able to uh, go into space yourself. That's going to require some kind of spacecraft, and you're going to have to have, of course, um, a space thruster on it. And so, we're just going to lift off right here from uh, Celestial Quarry. I already have all my stuff. We're very good on that, so we shouldn't have to worry. We'll be up into space in just a minute. It's going to take us a little bit longer to get to the training ground, but that's not a big deal. Obviously, I need to eventually do some mission that we're doing on this planet. I don't know what mission it is. So reality-wise, you get a massive amount of engineering skills from just repairing on a mothership. Not only engineering, not only do you get electronics and mechanics, but basically it allows you to really boost up your guy. And so you'll be able to see what, what we get. I'm going to be using an RK25 today. That'll be a, a helpful thing. Should have probably put that in the description. Hey, with our K25. Now, you could either fly to the... Um, the uh, space station and get yourself let in to a ship by beaming across to it. Or you can find it. The one we're looking for is this big one right here. So it's not as hard to find it. See that red dot this somewhere? That red dot is what I'm interested in. But we'll, we'll ignore it for right now. Red dots sometimes mean somebody's a pirate. Sometimes not. More of the time it just means that somebody is armed. And uh, is a threat. Then they're actually a pirate. I just want to line up here. We're going to go in the bay. This is how you get into a ship if you're uh, not beaming over or getting beamed up. Okay? So, we'll go over this real quick. Below this deck right here would be the hangar repair station. It's downstairs right there where we're just coming in, right? Good to know. This, of course, is the hangar. Even in flight, people can fly in and out of the hangar. Just so you guys know, you can have a strike team in the hangar. There's trade station terminals, repair terminals, and such. We then come upstairs. We could take that and beam down, and we could be a propulsion. Well, one of the ways to get to propulsion. The top floor is an observation floor. I'll show you that later on when we're further into the what we're doing. Okay, guys? This is the main control area. That's the command center. Here is the reactor. Down those stairs and to that side, yeah, a little further, is another way you can get to the propulsion area. And so as you can see, the ships are slightly big. Um, but not massive, massive. That's like a storage unit. This is actually engineering right here where all the stuff is. Um, including the terminal with all those sockets and stuff in it. Okay. Now next. 
before we do anything, this is what we do. Okay, so this is not my mothership, so of course I'm going to announce it. I'm going to also double check some other things. See who all is even on. Okay, so we're good. Now there's gunner seats. You guys saw the gunner seats here. Gunner seats, gunner seats. We're just giving people a second. A lot of gunner seats because there's guns all over this thing obviously right now we're not crewed um, and there's nobody at the repair station so this is me pulling out right now so I'm popping in you have to have permission to be able to uh, take control of a mothership just so you know real quick I'm gonna get this up Man, I hope you guys are kicking some butt today. Okay. Got it. Let me set course. The training ground we're going to is right here. Personally, I think these uh, Skyfall nesting area is probably a good choice. We're pulling out right now. I believe I can zoom in, but I'm not really sure. I think I might actually have to. Now, warp capability is a different thing. We do have warp capability on this. We're not going to use a warp to go anywhere because that costs depletion of the warp system itself. trying to figure out where where the heading is and I realized that's the moon right there by the way so we definitely need to turn about right let's go up are we a full flip from it be like that, that one guy he's part of a lost in space episode or something okay we're gonna lock the engines to go we're gonna unleash I mean like un by unleash obviously we're slow boating and we've got 3.95 AUs which are astronomical measurements of like that's equivalent to the distance from Earth and the Sun so uh, <coughs> really in all honesty since we're not going light speed we'd, we'd be taking a second In fact, we'll, we'll definitely be taking some, some time here. On other news, though, I found this. Check this out. This is not a plug, so this is not, you know. But this is Hawaiian Punch Cotton Candy. I don't know if that's going to be good or overwhelming, actually. But I felt that I was willing to try it in my head down. That yeah, was good. Ooh. That is definitely powerful smelling with Hawaiian punchiness. I don't think I've had Hawaiian punch since I was a kid, actually. Uh, do they even sell Hawaiian punch, the real Hawaiian punch in that can anymore? Stuff was good. We're not worried about the PvP thing going on.
that's good. I definitely don't need a bag this big of Hawaiian punch cotton candy. But that's freaking good. I'm gonna get some more out, and I'm gonna put it up so I don't misbehave myself. That's the kind of stuff that you would eat too much of, and then all of a sudden you're like, holy crap, that was maybe a bad decision making point in my life. It is yummy though. Mostly because it's kind of like pineapple -y. Yeah, that's good. Holy crap. Sorry about this, guys. I mean, we had to fly there. We're whizzing, though. If you look at that, look. So you know what? I'm gonna look up the RK-25 and I'll tell you what skills it gets for us, okay? Okay. So the RK-25, when we're repairing this after we jack this ship up, is gonna give us intelligence, blueprint comprehension, vehicle repair, vehicle technology. Uh, we don't have intuition unlocked yet, so it won't give us that. Serendipity, electronics, uh, engineering, mechanics, and we don't have scientist unlocks, unfortunately, so we won't get that either. That's kind of sad. When do we get scientist and intuition? Sorry guys, I don't I don't actually know when we get those. Level sixty vehicle structural engineer or any looter. Oh so that's not ridiculous actually. That one's reasonable. What's intuition? Level 80 in a defense or in structural engineering. Nah, that's insane, guys. Or a mind force chip profession. So intuition, we're a ways, we're just a ways away from intuition. That's not even a, not going to be there for a while. That's good stuff, though. If you eat cotton candy before drinking coffee, though, ooh, it will nullify the sugar that you have in your coffee like it was not even there. I'm okay with that, but ooh. Definitely the cotton candy sweetness level is up there on the holy crap level. That stuff's yummy, though. Definitely gonna have to get that stuff away from me. I'm going to run out of the little batch I have right here in front of me. And I'm eyeballing that already. It's okay. Cotton candy is some good stuff, man. I like that. Absolutely weird stuff. Do you know, weirdly enough, cotton candy was one of the creators was a dentist. Genius, huh? Not for nefarious purposes either. It was originally called fairy floss. And so, not the same thing, you know. Yummy though.
No crap, I was about to grab more. We won't do that. We'll control our emotions. That's some good stuff though. slowly slowly through space right we'll be there any minute now maybe also thank you for uh, hanging out by the way This is what they're talking about, though, when motherships are talking about slow boating somewhere. Because if, uh, say, warp, warp is, there is no warp driving the, in that vehicle right now. I wouldn't have used it anyway, because that's disrespectful to use somebody else's warp without not, you know, checking with them. But uh, straight up. Warp is a click away on if it's loaded, you know, at the time. So when we get here, we're going to take a crap load of damage. I'm trying to decide if we shoot a batch of them down. So I can show you guys the weapon system. We're probably going to do a, a combination of things. I might gun down these guys. Am I able to take a, a pill on here? Come on guys. I gotta check things. These are not as good when you're flying a aircraft, by the way, or a, a mothership as the bigger radius like pills. But they still work, and so I just wanted to make sure we're set up to actually kill some stuff slash repair. <coughs> so here's your choices when you fly into this place, right? You take your damage. A, you have to cut off when you're taking damage and fly back and turret them back at the space station. B, you don't care that you're leaving a bunch of dry mobs out here in this thing, which you kind of should care that you're doing that. Um, and by dry mobs, I mean ones that have ran out of skill that they're giving you anymore. And C, you either have somebody that's like wanting to work up their heavy gun skills on these, or um, you gun it yourself. And so, on maybe this first batch, we'll jack up the ship really bad and then I will literally switch to the I believe this forward gun does work like the main forward gun yeah that looks like a solid lock if it turns red when, when we're on something it has the ability to fire and from my memory I believe that I was able to uh, pop rounds as a pilot I definitely can pop rounds as a gunner and you want to be in that gunner's chair right to the side basically uh, this top upper one above me or the bottom one is a really good gunner's chair if you get two gunners in there you can just fly forward clearing stuff the ship won't even take damage sadly not enough to, to make repair dudes happy you know what I'm saying I'm going to just check some stuff real quick. Okay, so, seems like the repair people, some of them just went down to the planet right before we came up. That's not a shock. That happens all the time.
Okay, so we're still a ways out. Honestly, I always forget how long it takes to fly places in a mothership. And it is for sure one of those things where you're like, holy crap. I even brought us a, a water. Cause, well, I didn't bring us. I have it with me. I mean. But, you know, I would share philosophically, but you guys are temporarily and geographically disconnected. But so. Okay, so let's see. What do we visit about? Well, we fly a whole nother 1.6 something space distance. I don't know either, guys. I think you guys are going to be super, super impressed with the skills we gain, though. I'm going to just grab a little bit more of this. I'm likely we're going to put this in the other room. i got to determine what I think is a little bit more here. I really do like cotton candy, I'm going to tell you. I would own a cotton candy machine, and I know that's probably not a reasonable decision. In fact, it's probably a horrible decision, but I think I would own one. I'm just putting it out of reach over there where it's not in front of me, because that was a bad choice to have it right set in there, and was not helpful in the plan of, of control. So we're still flying, huh? Taking a second. This will be much more exciting once we actually get to the target zone, you know. Flying to the location is never exciting. So I don't really know what to do about that. Okay, we're getting there. Look at this. We've got an enemy to the side right there. It's one point something out from the middle, I think, though. Oh, we're at the edge. This is good. Okay, we're going in. Now, I'm not going to shoot these guys immediately. We're just diving on them. To elicit some attacks. Now, you guys are going to see I'm going to get a bunch of stuff here. Computer use. Fly skills. Like... 
I don't know, spaceship technology or something like that. Could dive it down more. But definitely we were close enough that that guy should have. Now we're starting to get some aggro. There's our spacecraft pilot. Yeah, we're getting red, red tone on this. Okay, let's stop right here. Trying to get red tone on him. This is just me checking some stuff and messing around, by the way. This isn't our, our serious move. There, we have red tone on that one. I wonder why this one's defective. Okay. Okay, so we gain a karma. We're gonna fly forward and I'm gonna collect this. Now when we're doing this later on though, I'm not gonna do it this way. I'm gonna have to take the loot pill on bet. I'm not going to be physically close enough in proximity. Yep, we're taking the, the loot pill real quick. Okay. I kind of thought that that might be an issue. It's not really an issue, guys. Especially with what we're doing. At any point, we can fly outside of this thing. Reposition ourselves and kind of like clean these guys out. We can even clean them out with our quad wing if we want to, which we might do that. We might have to do that, guys. can't fire if we're too close. Shot these guys backwards real quick, guys. Pass around. Sorry, this thing is not the most, it's not a fighter craft, let's just say that. The turrets are much easier to, to do this from. Oh, look at that! We just got, I think, a global. Did we get a global there? Yeah, we got a global, guys. Holy crap. Uh, okay, well, that's awesome. That wasn't planned, honestly. So we'll just do this for a second. So there's a, a hey, if they're too close, we can't hit them range on this, this vehicle, honestly. I'm glad for that though. I like combustion chips, guys. And we're not killing all of them right now because I did pop a loot pill. If we didn't kill some of them, it'd be pretty wasteful. I think we all know. I'd like to be super wasteful. We're still grabbing up dudes. 
So we're trying to get all this, uh, well, everything. Basically, we're trying to get everything, guys. Not even. Put this back to system. I don't know what everybody's talking about exactly yet. That's a new dude. We want to get him, so we're not going to blast him. We may have to see where I am in this circle of stuff. gonna go right into the center <laughs> and in all honesty we could clear some of these guys off since they don't seem to be giving me any skill right now this is where a full crew of gunners would have these guys sprayed See, this thing's teeming with guns. Look at that. But... Bringing it about. Fire until you have red on this crap. Too expensive to be wasted into the air, right? We're also gaining karma for this, but... Okay, so now we're grabbing more. But they'll have new skill in them, so we won't be just getting ripped off. Which, by the way, when you have a crew skilling, and they're skilling for, like, repair, you don't clean them off like that. Because that much damage is not enough to be crap. Like, a crew would be counterbalancing the amount of guys we had on us like nothing. It wouldn't even matter. We're gonna take this strip right here of them. I'll get more of them on us this time. And we'll actually damage this ship up at least to back here before I go park it. We'll repair, but we're not going to actually go back. We're just going to park. not super maneuverable to take in on these these giant asteroids like that I don't like doing it like a quad wings easy to maneuver oh 
Oh, I, I dodged it. Look at that. I got it turned fast enough. Okay, I'm gonna... No, we, we won't kill this guy. We'll kill somebody else and we'll kill that dude. Because because I have a loot pill, I feel that if we don't kill some people, we're just being wasteful. We'll kill him. Ready firing? By the way, this is a great way to get this codex. This is a really hard codex to get outside of a mothership. And so like, if you're trying to get this codex, get on as a repair crew on a mothership. And then get gunner's rights. Because in all honesty, these things are awesome. Like, they're, they have a grip. Big list. Uh, oh, I'm gonna kill this one just because he's 30 second level and I wanna kill him. By the way, you can hunt these in just a quad wing. The range on a laser, I believe, is just slightly past there, so if you back up while you shoot at them, I believe this is one of the mobs that you can actually kill without taking damage. More or less, at least. Not gonna slip down, I'm not saying that, okay? Taking some good damage here. Slightly thicker area, which is good. Oh, this that one looks thicker. general look and see what we have going on. This looks like a thick area right there. We should be able to go through. Let's maybe get that. Maybe we look first. Sorry guys.
I thought there was a degree more than that. Let's bring this in. Now we're starting to take some hits. That's a big asteroid or whatever meteor. I see, we're taking some damage too, by the way. Every 533 hit points of it. So yeah, it's a, it's a uh, you get HP for it. I just was checking, I thought you did, but I... to the edge not really we can take more damage first I thought I needed to clean these guys off but I'm not trying to fly all the way back to the space station to clean them we're gonna kill them kill them I'm gonna tell you, when you're in a gunner's seat, it's much easier. The guns zoom in onto the target, and you get clean, easy kills. so thick right now that we're just firing in. I don't even know what we're shooting exactly. One of some odd of them.
I'm gonna have to move in on that other piece. And those guys are probably getting too close right now. We're getting more of these guys too, by the way. Hold on one second. I just gotta see what's going on with this card. Okay, so these guys are kind of inconsequential, but I'm gonna kill them anyway. Yeah, definitely. If it's too close, look at that. We don't have the ability to fire on a, a target that's too close to us on this. The side guns, I'm pretty sure the, the main turrets, they can fire on your point blank range, but obviously our front pilot gun. Okay, let's go grab some more. We have to remember that we need to actually kill them before uh, our loot pill goes. Then we'll repair the ship real quick and we'll go back in. Let me make sure I'm going the right way real quick. I don't want to... Now we're going. We're going like the wrong way. That's why we have a mark in there. So we're getting some good skills here. If we get a codex off of these guys, these guys are excellent codex. I think everything in space is kind of a little bit excellent because it's pretty much high level mobs. Let's get our codex data up. That would have been a good idea, right? We're doing Skyflow? Yeah, we're doing Skyflow. Well. Guys, I'm sorry. I can't pop it up right now. I don't know why. But these are the sky flow. And we're hoping that the codex is at least working. It was working just a long time ago. So. We're just flying by and getting some harassment on these guys. So we can get some guys shooting at us. By the way, you do get defensive skills if you're over level 25 on any kind of defensive. You get avoidance while flying through these guys. Which I know sounds like uh, ish, but it is cool. It's at least something that you're getting. Oh yeah, computer use too, that's always good. So the thing is, we need the computer use for all the mining and crap we do anyway. There's our shadow. to get us to the thicker part of this whole situation.
there probably is some reasonable amount of these that you don't want to exceed by far. I don't know what amount that is. So. And at this point, we're probably good anyway. I just kind of have to monitor everything to a point. I don't want to get us too far down to where there's no way I can sneak them off before we blow up, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we're gonna pull these guys out of here. a lot of people blast this up. See if somebody was a tail gunner right now? They'd be tearing it up. 
I gotta make sure I'm actually heading towards the edge. Hold on. Okay, we're burning a little and stuff. I mean, but that's not really a big deal. It's kind of like. If they're telling you, you know what I'm saying. Okay, let's flip. I think we're on the edge enough that we're safe. Well, that's a lot though, guys. Look at this. Start killing, right? Hey, thank you very much for the follow. We had enough of them on us though for a second. Guy was overran too much. Okay. So now we simply go like this, exit the seat. We're at the edge of the thing. There's not very many bad guys. And in all, in all honesty, I think we can pretty much, by the way, I'm gonna show you the difference between a gunner seat, the gun, oh, by the way, thank you too. Um, the gunner seats, and this is why I was gonna say that the front gunner seat, I think is just my gunner seat. Let's go top right top front top right front gunner seat let's see what we can see and I'll show you the difference the gunner seats and this is why I'm saying it's much easier if you're a gunner to hit the targets look at this this is a actual like and it'll red dot too but you see what I mean like this thing it's not me trying to rotate the ship around and stuff it's legit just like target onto them with a turret gun and start pounding. And so these ships have, I 
thought we just stepped. Oh, I must have next seated. If you next seat, you'll just move to the next seat. And I'm going to tell you what, I don't know what's going on. We're having a problem getting out of our seat. But that is weird as crap and doesn't normally happen. And that is a, uh, a glitch, honest guys. This is an abnormal, abnormal glitch. We should have no problem exiting our seat. I've never had this happen before. And my next seat isn't working either. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. The the thing that's handy for this is that a mothership is its own server area. So I'm gonna log out real quick. I'm gonna switch my thing over to where it's uh, capturing just my face, not my uh, other stuff real quick. So we can log back in. Hopefully it'll kick me out of that seat right and uh, We won't have to worry about it, but that that's awkward and weird. I, I don't have it do that all the time. And so That's just psh, What can you say about that, right? Are we out of seat? It won't affect anything at all to be honest Luckily these ships are legit their own area. Hold on one second. Boom. I want to make sure that we reappear and we reappeared. Okay. So like I was saying, I'll show you space. Spatially, we're right where we left off. So ships float in their own area. Now real quick, I'm going to restore this ship because if we don't, it's not even a good idea to continue and, and jack it up more. We are going to jack it up more, of course. In fact, I'm going to blow the whole ship up, likely. The uh, RK-25 that I'm using is going to repair this pretty quick. I mean, it's not instant, guys, so I'm not going to pretend it is. But we're looking for maybe 35 more, maybe minutes of, of repair time right here. Maybe. I mean, I'm going to get some good skills, though, is the thing. And so, and I'll show you guys this whole place. Real quick, though. While repairing this one, I'm going to grab another cup of coffee and refill this, basically. And uh, we'll watch this stuff happen. This does, like, all these, by the way, are gun positions. But you have to have, actually, a high-level armament device to be able to actually man them all. Like, almost none of these motherships are capable of manning every single one of those gun turrets, just so you guys know. Hold on one second, grabbing some coffee, be right back. And like I said, it's going to take a second. Luckily, we're not horribly bad. See how much we've already fixed? Okay. 
That cotton candy is sinful, man. Just saying. It's really good. So let's look at what we're doing right here. That's the wrong thing, sorry. I was trying to see if we could see pack Y spot. We're clicking out per click, you know what I mean? Does that look like about one pack every other click? Yeah, about that. It's kind of insane the amount of skills you can get from doing this. So just the repair part we're doing right here, we're actually also getting mechanics and serendipity, just for the record. And I think blueprint comp. For sure blueprint comp. So this vehicle technology, that goes into actual uh, vehicle engineering. So that's an important one. The uh, vehicle structure engineering stuff, I guess I consider it pseudo important because we can get those other skills through it. But I, mean, I consider that more important. The mechanics and the electronics the same way. I consider them super important for the fact that we're trying to be a, a better robot hunter to be honest and if you look up robot hunting the robot looting and stuff like that um, your uh, what is it called um, anatomy I think is the one replaced out and the other is biology and the one is uh, electronics and the other is uh, mechanics and so Definitely want a higher mechanics and electronics skill for being able to uh, loot the robots and stuff. Which this does give you. I mean, this is super good for if you want to robot hunt. Also, just robot hunting is also super good if you want to robot hunt. Yeah. There's nothing to like sit here and wait for, like blueprints and stuff on this kind of thing. It's just watch the skills, you know what I'm saying? So, but skills are rolling in, so that's kind of nice. You guys remember our goal with the engineering, right? Slowly getting there. Look at that. I mean, it's a, it's a slow goal, but we'll be at that 6K. I'm going to even hit up the Monterey one tonight after I'm off stream even. Fly all the way there just to get that thing today. Going to make sure I get that the whole week, I think. Basically, if we can get to that 6K mark in engineering, that represents being past just a considerable amount of crap. Like, 6K engineering is, is giant. And then I'll have to pick the next goal to get to 6K. Like, it'll probably be blueprint comp, to be honest, you guys. And so...
this seems like the best choice and then after that I'm not really sure probably engineering or something not engineering but uh electronics definitely need my electronics up for sure I probably should go with electronics before blueprint comb to be honest so we'll have to figure that out I think you guys can see why a ship, if it has a full crew aboard it at the time that you decide to go scaling, is much faster on this stuff. Because there'd be people on the other stations. And uh, in all honesty, there'd be people on the stations during our flying around time. And so you don't even get as drained out anyway. So, what can you say? close guys by the way there are lots of motherships that you can go and become crew of you've got uh, the Variac, the Normandy the Bismarck and the Cronin right off the bat that I can tell you there could be even more um, I don't know right off the bat the Grungar does not skill like this see we've repaired the the, the uh, command center and the only reason that was so fast is because we were using our k25 you guys I'm gonna just jump down there because I don't like walking down there and because we heal over time see there's the blueprint print comp I was talking about that's important I'm convinced the, the higher blueprint comp I get the better I do on popping blueprints now I don't have statistical data on that because I didn't take statistical data on it but I think that I mean it's an opinion it's not a fact it's just a blunt I feel that when it was lower I did not as well generating blueprints and now that my intelligence and blueprint comp are higher, I do better at generating blueprints. But so many of my other scores are higher though, so I don't know if I would be able to ever say some kind of, hey, this is just how it works. I want to, but then we'd have to have a bunch of data and a bunch of analysis. Honestly, that kind of kills a lot of fun in a game. We are flying up this though. We're a crap load of, from 6,000 on electronics though. So I'd really have to think about that. Hey, how are you doing? Hope you're kicking butt. Oh, thank you. I think we're doing pretty good. We're mostly just getting a bunch of skills today and stuff. I mean, to be honest. And I feel we've had pretty good luck anyway. If you're ever going to start crafting, I would I would seriously recommend uh, going and doing a little bit of time on uh, a mothership just in case you're thinking about doing that, you guys. I'm just doing this because I want to get some of our skills up and I love the uh, skills you get also from piloting and the extra HP is not going to hurt at all, right? Any extra hit points you can get, massive deal. Like I know some people will pilot and then they chip out all their pilot skills because it is a great way to earn money in the game and stuff like that, uh, just piloting up here. And then, because you're not going to really use any of some of the skills, right? And so, like, at the end of the day, I don't remember what pilot skills valued at right now. 
but because it's the equivalent in, of buying or chipping in hit points for some people, it sells. So do some of the other skills that are there too. But uh, I know some people do just chip their, their pilot out. I'm, I'm not interested in doing that. I don't chip out. But you get a massive amount of great skills from coming up and doing this stuff. Oh, no, dude, are, are you up in space? And like, let me repair this, this ship and you could join the hunt for sure. It's not my mothership though. Are you on the, the uh, guest list for the mothership already? And so if you want to come up here for a big hunt, you're going to want to get um, well basically we're gonna want to get you all, all the information bro so here's the deal are you on the game right now so I can send you contact information for who you need to get uh, ship permission and stuff from and I would legitimately arrange a day when I would I would log on and I would come up here and you could just gun but um, you have to be on the mothership um, list to even fly into the thing. Okay, so here's what we need to do. I'm currently above Arcadia. Um, are you on the game right now on Calypso? Because you need to get some... Uh, information you need to actually have the chat room for a mothership i'm going to copy link this one and put it down in the chat so you guys can copy link it and stuff like that into your own game that's the very ag channel every mothership has its own channel and then i'm going to get you also so you know who you're looking for is so granny controls the um what is it called? The other one, not this one. I always wanted to call it the Ronin, and I don't know why. Um, Yoshi controls this one, and then, um, man, I'm having a mental mental thing going on. Oh, have a rupture, yeah. Yeah, the the Cronin, the Cronin, not the Ronin. The Ronin's the other one that, that commonly skills and stuff. Yeah, it's a great way to do it. So I'm trying to find Yoshi's info so you have it for her. It's right there. Okay. So that doesn't copy link like I want it to. So you're going to want to co contact um, Yoshi. Is that with two eyes? I think that's with two eyes, guys. I'm going to just make sure because when I click the one button to, to type stuff, it switches how big things are. And then Granny is is also able to uh, give you ship permission. I'm not pilot permissioned on Granny's ship though, and so in all honesty, uh, that would get I'd have to get a hold of her and stuff like that. But you're gonna want to contact her if you legit contact her. Yeah, what what's your avatar name in game? And I'll, I'll send it if if you give me your avatar name. Oh, message me real quick. And I'll give you all the information. 100%. That's not even a problem. 
I can even get her her information information now that I know how to do this I always think I can copy paste stuff like that for some reason where, where it would be easy okay so let me get you right here I'm trying to start a new one not a create a new message yeah Mel okay it always pulls up your friends first Decron. Think that's enough, guys? Oh, it, it's literally Donald Burned Down Wilson. There, we got you. Okay, now we're going to go boom. And bank. That easy. I'm starting to get better at that stuff. And I didn't make my name complicated or anything. It's not really on some stuff somewhere random. I thought it was. Guys, I'm going to tell you. Sometimes you think you know where stuff is on this game. Okay. Off to the next one. We go right to the back of this building. Go down this thing. come over here so we are flying through this guys I'm sorry this not an instant thing guys space hunting is fun though especially if you have gunners if you can get a like three or four gunners on a mothership and the pilot pops a good pill a loot pill one of the ones i'd have to get it out of my storage but it has a bigger radius of pool um you can just fly through do, 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 do. it's so fun it's ridiculous it's a great way but you do want to team hunt that way for sure like literally one of the most solid ways to space hunt there is. I always have to make sure that I did what I think I did. So, I have unfortunate luck with electronically clicking yeses, noes, or any kind of emoji. And so, uh, I always really like to scrutinize what I think I might have done online. Like, legitimately, it's, it's tragic. Like, one time, I was scrolling through things, and you know how the little poppy head things pop up with the different emotional reactions to somebody's story? Some girl that I don't even know well enough to, like, be on terms to be messing with her and being able to fix things, you know, on that level... Um, I mean, and I'm not inappropriate messing. I mean, just like where you mess with some of these emotions or feelings. So one time I'm like scrolling through and I don't even remember what app it's on. And uh, I accidentally grabbed one of the little emotional faces and didn't really pay attention and clicked it through. Like boom, boom, boom. And it was the laughy face like emoji thing, right? So, but I didn't realize it, it at all actually I didn't even care I was just you know not even caring 
and uh, it turned out that it was some big old like post on uh, some emotional like serious plight she was going through in life where she was legit having it rough and just posting on it and thought that I like was finding humor in her pain which I don't do to people I, I think that's bad mojo like flat out it's not good and so uh, like yeah she lit into me pretty good on that one it was not not good I did explain it and like she took my explanation, which was very kind of her, because honestly, who who says she had to, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, I always have to make sure anytime I'm doing something. Like the other week, when we deleted our best rocket launcher from a video game, while we were saying how we would not do that. Like, legitimately, as I was saying it, and I'm like, boom, 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 we will not do this, click. And I'm like, seriously. Yeah. So just like to make sure, you know what I mean? Hey, Bella, how you doing? Man, I hope you're doing epic. I need to get you to emergency heal me on some ridiculous monster that justifies your healing powers. Just for the record. I don't even know what to go hunt that justifies you, but... But I would 100% think that I could kill pretty much a, a ridiculous creature with you. Not let me die. Oh yes, we are, we are skilling this thing and I'm going to blow this thing up too. Right now I'm just repairing it because we went out, skilled some, flew around, shot all the mobs, and parked at the edge of the uh, space area. On this next run after I get this fixed and stuff, we're just flying right back in and we're going to get as many uh, mobs as possible. It's going to be a ridiculous amount in all honesty. I'm still attempting to get that whole goal where I get to 6,000 engineering by New Year's. <coughs> I'm also wanting to get some goals done on Cyrene. But in all honesty, a lot of my goals for Cyrene are big, big goals. And so I realized that some of them might not happen in the next, what, we have 90 days or some crap left. I don't even know if we have 90 days. Let's see. Yeah, we do. We do. We have 90 some. More than 90. That's a good thing. I need more than 90 days till the end of the year. For goals. I have a whole bunch of stuff I gotta get done. I think everybody in this game is trying to finish end of the year, Kale. Maybe not. A lot of people are. By the way, if you guys are free to play, this guy, this Zone No Shadow, he has a free to play channel. I mean like, he covers the game as a free to play player. And legit knows it well. And he's Googleable I think on, on YouTube. Pretty sure. I like the guy. He's pleasant. He also covers Dungeons and Dragons, like the old school Dungeons and Dragons, the real stuff out of the book. Much funner than the video game version of Dungeons and Dragons that will never live up to the the soul that that game has. But uh, that's a different thing. Oh. Well, I'm excited for 20th anniversary type stuff. I like anniversary type year stuff. Honestly, if they want to... I'm always... If they want to drop some piece of equipment that would be perfect for me. Um, I think that's how everybody is. If they would like to throw in an anniversary this. Um, I don't know what I want actually in this game right now. I'm pretty content to get some skills and to get some fancy uh, armor plates up I think is about it 
but I'm glad that they're all gearing up for that. I'm super excited for them to switch over to that new system. I don't know what it's going to be like, you know what I mean? And I hope there's not bugs in it and stuff, but, uh, man, that's going to be awesome. Yeah. What are your plans? Does anybody have any really impressive plans for, for the next year? I mean, like, I'm still trying to wrap up stuff for this year. But uh, I want bodacious, ridiculous goals for next year. I don't even want them to be, like, ones that are probably reasonable. I would rather be going after, like, knock it out of the park goals next year. Just sounds like a a thing to do next year, you know what I'm saying? But they'll release that new version with the, the uh, what is it, Unreal 5 or is it Unreal 6? Some Unreal number that's higher than what we're at now. And so that should be awesome. I'm really excited about that. I'm hoping they release a bunch of new blueprints. I would like to get a blueprint discovery on me. I don't have any blueprint discoveries. Nah, dude, I have all kinds of goals outside of Entropia, but yes, in Entropia too. If you have Entropia goals, that's awesome. If you have legit outside, like, hey, I'm gonna do anything that won't get you in trouble saying it on my channel, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm, I'm for whatever goals people have. Goals are good. I like doing things in a video game, but I like doing like 30 times more stuff outside of a video game probably than in, you know. I do like this game though. But yeah, if you guys got huge goals, that's awesome. I have a small company I'm attempting to get all the way up to full profitability where it's doing something. It's like a startup startup, guys, though. So it's not like a, not a big company. It's a little like company so that that's super a bunch of work it's getting there though it doesn't lose money that's always that's half the battle right but like getting it to the point that you're at the hey we're not spewing money out but of course it literally doesn't really spend hardly any money either so like But I think anybody that's doing business stuff right now is in a little bit of a holy crap anticipating what kind of next year, year the world looks like economically. I mean, at least I am. I don't know what it looks like yet. I might have to switch out and get us a different repair unit up. Now we have 13 left in and we can easily repair this. No, not 13, three. Well, let me look what we have left. Oh, I lied. We have a very little left in it. Hold on. Let me grab another one. I'll switch once that wears down all the way. Entropia goals, though. I actually thought I was going to get to 100 intelligence this year. We did not get there. I will get to the 6,000 uh, engineering this year, though, for sure. That'll happen. Like, that's not a... I mean, because every time we go to Monrea, we get three points of engineering. So, literally, we're at 30 points or 30 trips to Monrea left. And uh, that's actually not that big of a deal. You know what I'm saying? Plus, we're getting some engineering for this. Let's look at this. We've got almost a point here. And so that's almost 25 packet engineering just here today. On top of the other skills, which is a bunch of other skills. And so that part's a slow thing. I think next year, all my goals are going to be um, specific in this goal like the robot hunting stuff pyrokinetics um, 
getting my Imperium plates to as high as I can. That is a big one. The Imperium plate thing. I'm going to do a lot of time on Cyrene, guys. Oh, and we're going to get manufacturer weapons up way high. Let's see. what What's my current manufacturer weapons? It's not this high for sure, guys. Don't worry. I'm going to switch to these. Okay. So our manufacturer weapons is currently 1860. And I believe next year my goal for that should be to get it to at least 3000 maybe. I would say 3000 would be awesome. Uh, I should get that yeah let's say 3,000 our, our goal next year is going to be around manufacture weapons and getting it to 3,000 that that's probably next year's goal as weird as that is that's a huge skill you guys goes into all kinds of weapon crafting But it's likely to be the thing holding us back and dragging us down on a whole bunch of our, our manufacturing from here on out. Just because there's not really a lot of ways to get the manufacture weapon skill. So, spend time on Cyrene, basically, is what we're going to do. So close on this. And I'm going to try to slow boat and turret out our guys right before we blow up. So that we're not leaving um, dry mobs and stuff like that inside the space zone. Because that's considered rude to other people. Like other people don't want to fly out there to go skill. And end up flying around getting no skill points. Because you drained all the mobs. And you were not polite. I don't know. That's basically it. We're really having to work on this. Look at this crap. They need to have... Well, I guess we might not would qualify for it. I was about to say they need to have an RK50 or an RK60, but we're not a we're not a 50th level dude or a 60th level dude, so we wouldn't be using it anyway. They do need to have an RK50 though, like for war, like a war one or an RK100 even for like I don't know the one guy that is that high level. I don't know who that is, but good for him. Probably a bomb. Look at our vehicle repairing. It's racking up. You can sell that too. Um, I've never sold it. I know it's worth some random amount of money. I mean, some people just come up here and pilot and repair and then only keep the skills that they actually want. And then they chip the rest out and they sell them so that they can buy more kits. For repairing and skilling that's that's not a bad strategy it's actually one of the people that i know is really good at this game that's the strategy they used they came up here and they worked for a while and then they piloted for a long while saved up crap loads of skill then they sold their skill and then they bought um, clds with it which is insane and then um, 
they used the CLDs to slowly buy up a bunch of those Arcadian Underground Ds and crap like that. They stream too. I think that they actually even have a video on their deed strategy for this game. But it's uh, deep water and stuff. He's an excellent player too. Not free to play. But in all honesty, his play strategy is uh, super, super efficient. And at this point, he pretty much could just discontinue probably investing in the game at all and just play to his heart's consent, to be honest. His deed strategy, he's probably the most aggressive person that I know of besides like straight up I bought a big land piece type thing you know what I'm saying definitely understands deed strategy and a lot of this game really good understanding of this game actually guys And uh, if it if I was qualified to use a more powerful repair tool, I would. But we don't have one as a as an available thing right now. By the way, let me see if I still have the the message with it in it. I don't want to accidentally pop up the wrong uh, message. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you guys know about this? Did you guys know that there's a permanent repair tool? Yeah. Feel that. Look at that. The RK10 10S is a repair tool. That's right. I don't own this. I just did. I I've I grabbed the thing to show somebody else because I thought, holy crap, that's insane. So this thing's probably worth a, a ridiculous. Never sold. No one's ever sold one. I honestly don't even know who owns this. Do you know that? Like. Somebody was talking about it one day. I didn't even know if it was a real thing. I kind of thought, oh, that probably bull crap. Oh, no. Almost nobody knows. I've even shown people that own motherships that are like WTF. What the heck? And uh, legit, look at this. Excellent. In fact, let's compare these. Let's compare a normal one, right? Let's pin that thing. I have a normal one on me. RK0. Boom. Watch this crap. Okay, so you got your 39. You have to be 10th level. That's nothing, right? 10 through 15. It actually repairs slightly more. Uses the exact same amount of welding wire. This is legitimately a superior tool. Obviously, nobody can tell me what the value is. I mean, like, the value is ridiculous off the chart. If you were, like, just skilling all the time, you would want to own that. I don't own that. I personally don't know who does own it, in all honesty. I, I wish it was me. Um, that's probably one of the most ridiculously rare, valuable items I've, I've seen, to be honest like a absolute like WTF right if I owned that my likelihood to think I needed to buy something like uh, well I don't I don't think I should ever own that it's dangerous probably by the way I'll show you the overlook the outlook area right because we're gonna go jack this this up okay so this and this is the fascinating thing in space in these you can actually sat here and look at what's going on out of here and it's legit and so like if you see like a spaceship flying through there and stuff um it actually is what's going on out there and so not a lot of people hang out in the observation floor i mean it's just not really that useful normally because you're usually not setting out in the middle of space um, watching for stuff. But all of the stuff like that works. Okay, so let's get back into the fight. This time we're only jacking this thing up, like badly. Okay. 
Sorry, I thought I hit it the first time. And then for a second I thought, oh, we just... Okay. Uh, we are barely on the edge. Did you see that? We moved forward maybe a meter or two. He's not shooting me yet. Okay, there we've got contact finally. Large one of them really like. The other stuff's all nice. I'm not gonna talk crap about it. Because we want the HP from it, basically. So basically we're getting HP skills, some avoidance and stuff, which is what you're basically going for, right? Stronger HP, some higher defense. Make sure we're moving towards the middle. Okay, that's back towards the planet.
This is also why I compare skilling off of dire weeds to the same thing. Basically, you run in, you piss off a bunch of them, you heal yourself until you're done with them, and then you blast them down. I kind of consider it very simple. It's okay. It's definitely a good thing, you know what I mean? Taking some massive damage though. Okay, I'm gonna set us a course right here. Cause we're gonna need it. I'm not gonna fully blow us up. I'm gonna actually clean these guys out cause they're dry. If I blow us up, what will happen is it'll leave all these mobs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab them all. And we're gonna drag them right through space. But I'll show you why.
Now we're gonna turn. So if there was a repair crew, they'd be fighting against that damage. And, uh, well, you guys can imagine it wouldn't be racking up so fast. Because we don't have an actual crew on us, I'm not sure what our sustainability is going that far. You guys saw how long it took us to fly there. That was a long, long distance, right? So we're going to fly all the way back under that kind of firepower. I think at like 0.5 AUs, the space station's guns might work. I don't remember exactly where. Definitely two AUs out, we're good. I'd say definitely even one AU out, we're good. We're still getting some skill every little while. like we're at a very massive downward pitch, right? I know that there's no down in the space and stuff. That's some serious damage hit. Look how many misses they're getting up. <clears throat> I like that. That's what we like. In space, I think the only defense you really have is avoidance in your pilot score. You guys think I left in time? So see how we haven't got any new skill points for a while? A repair group, they'd still be getting skill points. And so the pilot only gets skill points on the fresh boss. Everybody else gets skill points the whole way. And so, tragic. That's also why Bob, like, Oh yeah, I'm only doing this for skill. I mean, I did shoot some mobs. On a real hunt, I would I would go out there and, and hunt the crap out of it, but I'm doing this just for skill. We're just soaking skills up. 
on a real hunt, we'd want to just stay out there and blast. And I'd want to arrange it to where we'd have repair crew people to just keep us in repair. Because then we don't have to worry about that crap. We can just keep blasting the whole time. This is 100% just a skill equipment. Now, which we'll get a bunch of skills off of it. It's a good amount. There's a couple people that used to take this ship out, like, pretty much all evening for years, and, uh, they definitely beefed up their character with them. Like, ridiculous amount of beefing up their character. I'm needing 6,000 engineering by the end of the year, though. So I'm only doing the Tolan thing until we get the next little bit, and uh, this as a kind of combination, which is really handy. Oh yeah, we're definitely making it. Look at that. I say we're definitely making it, but my confidence isn't that high. station so if you guys didn't know piloting is amazing skills and uh, repairing really good skills but piloting freaking them Especially if you can keep yourself in new mobs the whole time. But that requires gunners and stuff. So. Guys, we would make it. Did I wait too long or pull too many dudes? We don't make it by the way it doesn't do anything we just blow up and we'll reappear but the thing is it'll leave these dry mobs out here in which I personally don't like doing that um, ooh, we are getting scary close to dangerous because they're pounding the hangar See, look at that. The hangar's gonna go down first. It's facing them. It makes sense that it would go down. I think that we're in that 50-50 zone. Definitely pushed it. Maybe we should have left a minute or two earlier. Maybe two minutes earlier is what I would say. I'm pretty sure the turrets don't kick on until we're at point five. Oh yeah, I don't know. They definitely need to miss more. This is so close, you guys. I'm 
I'm leaning heavy towards we blow up. It's okay, because we're right here. I mean, but. Definitely we'll have to time it more. Yeah, we're going to blow up right here, guys. It's not a biggie. What happens when you blow up is you basically get ejected for a second. If we were in lootable space, that would be a big deal. I'm pretty sure the guns do not turn on one AU out. Prepare to blow up, guys. That hangar's totally ready to go. Yep, there it is. We blew. That's okay. We're going to float in space for a second. The ship right here, it's going to go boom like that. That would kill us right there. We look over, we see all those dudes. We do our dramatic death space what is that I thought that was somebody else's ship coming up our way boom we're dead I'm just joking it's not that emotional I've got myself killed enough in pretty much every game okay then we revive out Sadly, there's a bunch of big chubby guys out here just slightly past the space station. That will bring us back into the medical room. In all honesty, I feel that this room should have some kind of automatic regeneration field to it. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't. So here's what happens. When you've just blown up the ship, not a biggie. The best place to start repairing when you know it's about to be a long, long, hey, I have to repair the ship. By the way, it has repaired, I mean, it's went back to uh, the space station, if you look. And so we don't have to fly back. Anytime it blows up, it goes to the nearest space station. So we're going to come back down in here. And we're going to get right back on a repair mission in which I'm going to repair this entire, entire chip. And so that's, of course, going to take a while. I mean, not a huge amount, but long enough that we're going to want to message some people. Let them know. Hold on, watch this. This is how you do it. Okay, and so you, I'm letting people know that I'm going to be AFK repairing at HH, which lets everybody know, hey, I'm going to set here. I'm not going to be doing anything for a little bit. I'm going to repair up the full ship, to be honest, before I head over to Monria to get the daily knocked out of the way. Um, just because... At this point, I really do want to get us up to that 6,000 in engineering as fast as possible in this year. And so, at this point, that's 20 days left, at least, of, of doing the daily. And so, that's going to take a second. I do want to thank you guys very much for hanging out and being epic. Real quick, I do want to check this. Hold on one second.
I've heard that they're getting rid of hosting channels soon too. And so I don't know how long that's going to be, but you guys have a great day and thank you very much for hanging out. Peace, very best wishes.